stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Uh, we need to emphasize that uh, we are all different and the minorities need to be celebrated. And um, by celebrating these uh, Uh, moments, uh, Transgender Day of Visibility, Lesbian Day of Visibility, we actually push for more inclusion and diversity in our society. So we are all hoping that by doing these talks, by doing these radio shows, we are helping to move forward lesbian. So just a brief definition, a lesbian is a woman who is romantically or sexually attracted to another woman. Okay, so... Uh, Let me introduce our guest, okay? For our first guest, we have a strategic communications expert, a co-founder of a lesbian rights group, the Women Supporting Women Center, a co-convener of the first National Lesbian Rights Conference, international advisor, board member of Australia Lesbian Foundation for Justice. Grabe, parang pang Wonder Woman yan. Justice! Author, wo- uh, woman to woman, a hot woman to woman, essays, poetry, and fiction, executive chef, food writer, co-host of Tita Tib X podcast. Let's welcome Chef Jeannie Villar. Hello, Chef. Good evening. Nice to have you here. Hi. Hi. Happy, Happy Pride. Pride. Happy Pride. Thank you. Happy Pride. Hello. Hello, Very ano pride. tayo ah. Thank you Chef Jeannie for for accepting our invite. Si Chef Jeannie, if you don't know, so she say I work in the media no production. Oh, yes, alam naman natin na very siguro isa ang media sa pinaka inclusive or accepting or pinaka less homophobic na industry sa siguro sa buong mundo. masasabi yeah. natin um hindi hindi tinitingnan yung gender mo kung babae ka o lalaki para maging producer ka para maging writer um although um yung mga cameraman saka mga assistant cameraman namin puro lalaki siya uh I've yet to see um a female a camera woman actually uh Yon. So, sa experience ko actually, uh, lagi ko pag, pag natatanong ako eh, kung naka-experience ba ako ng discrimination sa workplace, sabi ko siguro isa ako sa mga babaeng pinagpala, sa mga lesbianang pinagpala sa lahat kasi hindi ko talaga siya uh, naranasan na ma-discriminate sa trabaho. Siguro yung pinaka-close to being um, uncomfortable siguro was when um, doon sa first show ko, uh, yung trabaho kasi ko noon, researcher. Tapos, uh, we used to do roving sa streets para maghanap ng mga stories. This was 18 years ago. So, ayan, 18 years na po akong kapuso this year. Uh, yung, yung una kong trabaho as a researcher. Ang daming field work. Tapos, yung mga kasama ko, puro mga cameraman, tsaka assistant cameraman driver, puro lalaki. Uh, never naman kasi akong naging, never akong nagtago sa closet. So, alam nila na lesbian ako. So, yung pinaka siguro uncomfortable na situation na napuntahan ko was every time na uh, nasa work kami, laging pag may dadaan na magandang babae, laging sasabihin sa akin, oh, yun, 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 type mo ba yan? Type mo ba yan? date mo ba yan? Yung, yung ganun lang na parang lagi akong na lalagay sa ganung sitwasyon before na parang feeling nila, well, this was 18 years ago, feeling nila lahat ng babae, gusto ko yung ganun. Dahil parang pag lesbiana ka, ang... ang Ang iniisip nila pag may babaeng dumaan diyan, gusto mo na agad or attracted ka na agad. So siguro yun lang, yun lang yung pinaka awkward na or pinaka uncomfortable na situation ever. Actually, parang pareho ka may halos ng experience ni Shao na yung pinag feeling ko ren pinagpala ko na hindi ko na experience yung discrimination talaga in a sense, no? I never had to hide it. In fact, when I was younger pa nga, when I when I came out feeling ko na parang it was important to tell people that I'm gay. Pero eventually, na ko, it really doesn't matter. I think what stood out for me was when I, um, one of my editors, no, to ask me, um, I was being interviewed for a parenting magazine. So sinabi ko ka outright sa kanya, sabi ko, I'm not married, I don't have children. Will that be a problem? Being in a Uh, parenting magazine and what she told me was and it stuck to me talaga throughout my my career was sabi niya, i need 
a good writer and I need a very good editor. So it doesn't matter if you have children or not. If you can do the job, then it's yours. So sabi ko, ah, okay. So it, nag-leave yun ng imprint sa akin. It doesn't, it shouldn't, di ba? Um, be um, a factor whether or not you can do a good job or not. Um, I think it's very interesting that you asked that question because um, laging tinatanong yun, parang ano ba dapat yung isang dala natin? And the fact that you are very diverse um ang hirap humanap ng commonality na tinatawag no uh, pero kasi ang nangyayari na nakikita ko ngayon uh, we call ang daming contradictions like we call for respect but at the same time parang uh, hindi par, parang hinohomogenize natin eh mahirap ko i-homogenize kasi nga iba-iba tayo LGBT kaya nga lahat nagpipilit magkaroon ng letra doon sa alphabet soup na yon, di ba? Ngayon, uh, I'm a uh, professor in a um, college of medicine in UP. Pag nagtotok ako, I always say, I'm gay. I have to introduce that. I have to come out to my students um, and to the people I'm talking to para malaman nila kung sino ako, para malaman nila na hindi ko kinakahiya yon. Para, alam mo, yun yung panggulat factor na parang, uy, bakala pa na siya. So parang, just so it's out of the way. Para rin, para yes. manormalize, para sa akin, para manormalize sa kanila na hindi ako nahihiya kung ano man ako. Kasi uh, sa healthcare profession, mataas yung stigma eh, uh, uh, ng pagiging LGBT. Marami pa rin ang hindi nakakatanggap. Unlike dun sa environment ni Nashaw, ni na siya sa uh, creative side, no, na parang everybody is welcome. Maraming hierarchy sa medical community. So, baligtad naman yung gina- ginagawa ko. So, ako, pag nagsasalita ako, pag nagpapakilala ko, sinasabi ko, I'm a gay man. So, parang, iyon Parang, uh, Angel, I, I forgot the name of the director nung nagpunta tayo sa uh, house ng Ambassador of Netherlands. Si Sir Nick, am I correct? Nick Yocampo. Nick yes, Yocampo, Nick, yeah. Nick, yeah. Professor, remember, Professor Nick. Yeah, yes, I remember him saying that the word agi and bakla used to hurt him a lot until yeah. he learned to weaponize it. So parang ganun, to weaponize it. So that's what I'm doing now, weaponizing that term na para you're using the, uh, this term before to hurt me now I'm using it to empower other people so yun lang That's good. <laughs> ako naniniwala ako na mahalaga siya na lagi nating sasabihin at lagi nating babanggitin every time na may pagkakataon tayo um, kasi di ba uh, yung ako naniniwala kasi ako na yung empowerment nagsisimula yan sa individual eh, yung pagtanggap niya sa sarili niya at of course exposure uh, parang lahat ano, ang daming mga lesbian couple. Tapos doon ko nakita na may iba't ibang mukha, may iba't ibang expression yung pagiging isang lesbiana. Tapos doon, doon ako na-expose. So, paano yung sa akin? Mahalaga yun eh. Kasi part ng um, uh, pag-empower sa sarili at sa iba, yung pagtanggap mo sa sarili at saka yung exposure. At parte ng, ng mm-hmm. exposure na yun, yung nakikita natin yung mga labels, di ba? Yung naiintindihan natin, um, uh, kung saan tayo belong doon sa maraming uh, right alphabet. About. I think um, it's important rin na yung mga um, bata ngayon, aware sila. Kasi at least, hindi lang yung peers nila yung na-educate, even their parents. And I yeah. think, di ba, at least multi-generational yung, yung influence na nangyayari. The little changes at least in um, being aware of all of these uh, issues. Our viewers, hindi, hindi ho kami kailangan pagaling yan. Hindi ho to sakit. <laughs> na may, 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 may chance pa magbago. May, hindi siya ganun po. No? So I think it, it, it has to be clear also. Pero yung... Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. I, I think some businesses have recognized that they lose out on talent. They lose out on... Uh, people who actually have a contribution. Sana, sana ganun yung perspective ng mga businesses then na, uh, of course, we understand that they have to sustain operations, bottom lines, uh, especially, you know, talagang, as a business, talo na ngayon sa pandemia, mahalaga yon. But, 
ultimately it's it's about you know the the, the rights and the growth that you're giving to your uh, employees to your staff to the people you work with uh lalo na ko ikaw yung may-ari ng kumpanya or ceo ka because if you're up there you can really change what's going on sa mga buhay yeah. na mga nasa kumpanya di ba so or nasa business Kala, kasi talaga yan sinasabi ni kanina na naming lahat i think na isn't kilala mo yung kailangan mo hubutin niya sa loob sa sarili mo Okay, you have to find it within. Sure, you can get inspiration from outside, but you know what? At the end of the day, if it's your pain, kahit na yung makausap ka, you're still the only person who has to deal with that pain. Kaya hmm. importante na makilala mo yung sarili mo. And I like what the Buddhists say you know, about uh, difficulties and pain. Ang sabi ng mga Buddhist kasi, kailangan daw maunawaan mo na ang happiness at ang sadness ay both part of the realm of human experience. As long as you're a human being, you will experience that. Kaya do tayo na frustrate at sobrang na depress kasi ang gusto lang natin masaya. Nakakalimutan natin na bahagi ng buhay, hindi ba? Parang kalahating side niyan is that malulungkot ka, you will be frustrated ganyan. And if you understand that uh, and magkakaroon ng mas acceptance, maybe you'll be you'll be more uh, parang kin wax philosophical about it at saka mas mahahandle mo kasi alam mo kung saan nanggagaling at alam mo na kailangan mo pagdaki. Mahalin natin because by then, we will eat more of our fruits. The farmers will benefit. We Agreed. will care more about our land. We will True. care more about the West Philippine Sea. Diba? I agree. Ito, okay. <laughs> agree. Yan. Yung mga bagay niyan, dugtong-dugtong yan. Hindi yung pwede magkakahulay. We eat it or we lose it. That. And But, we have First and foremost, you know, it, when you respect other people, everything follows. And I think for for that to happen, um, you just really have to be kind. You have to think of other people. In the, you know, if you if people are asking for rights, like LGBT people want equal rights, it's not going to take away from yours, really, the right? bat. Um, it's just respect for you know you you want the same things why can't they have the same things they're having the diba? um and i think tama si chef yun yung laws nga talaga have to be in place and now that wala pa siya then we just abide by mahalaga, mahalaga yung pag-unawa kung gusto mong maging mas discerning sa mga bagay-bagay you have to know uh you know what's out there at saka yung kakilala mo ngayong sarili mo at saka yung history mo no hindi ko sabing history na 1896 to what pero yung sarili yung parang you know yung yung journey mo eh at saka yung journey ng mga tao now one important thing i think is that we're always looking outside but we have to look within ourselves and our communities kasi if there is someone who knows how to hurt us tayo rin yun eh kasi alam natin kung paano tayo pwedeng saktan and sometimes people use that to weaponize against other people in the community So, kailangan kung gusto natin na magkaroon ng pagkakaisa sama-sama, respeto ng differences. We do not demand people kasi iba-iba yung mga context nila. At kung paano natin matutulungan ang isa't isa. Pero to be able to do that, we should have an openness to listen and not just shut people out. Uh, usong-usong call out, di ba? yung call out culture. But sure. I, I, I agree na mas importante yung call in. Because we say, ah, homophobic ka. Mm-hmm ah, ganyan ka, tapos na usapan Without learning, so people will now be afraid to ask questions. And when we're afraid True. to ask questions, we stop learning. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.